Hello to you all. Today is the 26th of June and I have a really beautiful message from the Lord for us all. Um, so I would love to share it with you. It should only take a few minutes. Um, he has been showing me other things, but I'm still praying over these. But this message just was uh, really encouraging for us. So um, I was sleeping last night um, and I was given these words and I just wrote them down. And um, it wasn't until this morning when I was thinking it over and praying about it uh, that it came to some sort of meaning to me. So the words I heard were the taking of the Lord. And then I heard a number, 330. So I was quite puzzled when I found this this morning and was thinking it over. And... Um, I the first one of the first things I did was to look up the number three three zero, and uh, what that means in Hebrew was linen or yarn or fiber or to bind. Um, and I was very puzzled by that because uh, the main meaning seemed to be linen, fine linen. And uh, there was one other meaning, um, which was the ghosts of the dead. So there I was even more puzzled, because the words were the taking of the Lord, and the meaning of the number he gave me was fine linen. So then I decided to do a search, and I put in the taking of the bride of Christ, because that's what I was thinking it might mean. And brothers and sisters, the verse that I first read was uh, Revelation 19, verse 7 to 9. And this is what it said, and it just blew my mind when I was reading it. Let us rejoice and exult and give glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride was ma has made herself ready. It was granted to her to clothe herself in fine linen. Ah, oh, I just felt the Holy Spirit come upon me when I read that. So it was granted to her to clothe herself in fine linen, bright and pure. For the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Wow, I was so amazed to think that that scripture led me to not only the taking of the bride, but also to the fine linen. Isn't God just amazing? And then I was also thinking, brothers and sisters, more on this over this time when he, the, of the taking of the Lord in thinking he also will take the ghosts of the dead. Now, um, quick, because that was the extra meaning of um, the 330. So I'll just read to you um, from the King James Bible another verse. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So brothers and sisters, sorry, that scripture was 1 Thessalonians 4.16. So when that time comes for the taking of the Lord, not only will he take the bride of Christ dressed in her fine linen, pure and bright, but he will also take the dead in Christ first. So um, that number 330 meant the, uh, what was it? The um, ghosts of the dead and linen, fine linen. So brothers and sisters, I think this just was a really encouraging um, little word from the Lord to remind us that uh, the marriage supper of the Lamb is not far away. So keep your garments pure, keep repentant and keep praying for uh, the lost souls, 
for the bride of Christ that she be made ready in her fine linen and also for the Jewish people who have still got to come back to the Lord to come home to Israel as well. So um, be encouraged brothers and sisters and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye for now.